Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will try to learn about encoder configuration in Mitsubishi PLC. But before start this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. This way you will be never miss my upcoming videos. So let's get started. First of all, we will open our GXWorks2 software. And here we will take one inter memory M8000 and click it OK. And then next we will take one counter C251 and value which we like to give, for example, K999. For nine, I will give this one and click it OK. And then next you will take M8000 again and move in any data register. For example, I will take this one D move MOV MOV when you write and after which data register you like to choose for example d100 i will choose or d10 you can choose any you can choose oh, sorry this is d move d10 uh, sorry d d move i will write this little wrong d move c 251 in the 10 data register and then click it ok and after simply go to the compile and you will rebuild all and write to the PLC and then execute first stop the CPU and after program download to the PLC. Wait some seconds while program is downloading and click yes, close this as luck and close this also. And go to the online and monitor and start all windows monitoring. And now you can see our encoder value is now showing look like 2000. I will move my encoder and also I will show you in picture maybe in camera I can show you. You can see this one I will make this one here near the encoder. When I move this encoder after our value This when I move this one after this value will be increase and decrease right now value goes to the goes in the minus and as you will give this again you will move if you will clockwise you will move your value will be increased and if you will reverse moved your value will be decrease so it's very easy and very and also if you like to make some relay like to be set or reset with this encoder so very simple go back to the online and monitor and stop monitoring and here you can write m8000 m8000 and next Oh, sorry we write wrong area here we have to be select because oh, one more go to the ladder edit mode and must be right mode selection after this will be selection the 
write parameters amp 8000 take and here you can take this uh, compare command for example ld when less than less than d10 with k100 for example our output will be on y0 for example we will be output on and here you can make one line downside and click it ok and again you will make this one ld and greater than d10 k300 for example and output y1 needs to be on so compile again rebuild all online try to plc and execute wait for seconds while program downloading to the plc Click yes, close this one and also close this. Go to the online monitor, start monitoring all windows. And here now you can see at the D10 is my value is now up to 2000. We write it here the program inside this D10 when greater than 300 this y1 needs to be on and this we give the command when d10 less than 100 after y0 needs to be on so we will move our encoder i will make it here little and as i decrease the value and make less than 300 now you can see when value is less than 300 y1 goes to stop and now any output is not on and when my value less than 100 for example see 104 uh, 1 may be 99 if value this uh, y0 will be on you see now 99 y0 is on means less than 100 value and if greater than value 3, 300 after y1 will be on so this way you can use this encoder value and you can make it on and off your outputs and inshallah will be next video i will tell you how we can measure the length with the help of encoder how much uh, how can we use this uh, program so i hope guys you will be understand about how we can configure the encoder in mitsubishi plc if not understand anything you can send me the message in comment section i will give you feedback as soon as possible so thanks for watching allah hafiz